up guys, Aaron here. And today I'll be reviewing the best mechanical keyboard you can buy on a budget. Let's get started. All right, so real quick, this is an $80 mechanical keyboard, which might not sound like a budget to some of you guys, but for all the features that you're getting for the price, I don't think anything even comes close. There's a lot of keyboards out there that cost double the price of this, but with only half the features. So if you guys are looking for a really good keyboard, under $100, I think you guys wanna take a look at this one. So the keyboard that I'm talking about is the one I'm currently using right now, and it's the Royal Kludge RK84. It's an 80% mechanical keyboard, 84 meaning the total number of keys. The keyboard comes in either white or black, and also three switches to choose from. You can choose red, blue, or brown switches. So when you first get the RK84, this is the package that it comes in, and all the accessories that come with it. You get a USB Type A to Type C cable, two magnetic keyboard feet, four replacement switches, and a keycap switch remover. I personally love the 84 key layout since I don't want something too compact or too large. The RK84 removes three keys from the standard 87, which gives you a nice size without missing out on too much of the functionality. The menu key is removed, while the scroll lock and the insert key will be your secondary keys on the print screen and pause key. The RK84 is also hot swappable, so you can customize the switches as well as the keycaps to your liking. As for the stock keys and switches, I like them a lot actually, and I'll be demonstrating the sound a little bit later in this video. The keyboard also comes with RGB lighting with plenty of effects to choose from. You can choose from the pre-programmed effects with the FN key, or through the software for more customization features. The keyboard is made out of plastic, but has a solid weight to it and doesn't feel cheap by any means. And one feature that makes this keyboard stand out is that you have the option to remove the frame, depending on the type of look you're going for. It's seriously awesome that they included this when honestly, they didn't really have to. On the back, you have a Type-C connector for the cable, as well as two USB ports. That's right, two USB ports. Seriously, another great addition that a lot of keyboards lack. Now my favorite part about this keyboard is that you get two wireless connectivity options. You can either use Bluetooth or the 2.4 USB dongle. Now I have heard that the range on the USB dongle is pretty bad, but I personally never had any issues with it. It just depends on how your setup is. Now for my setup, I have my PC to the right of me and my keyboard is centered about two feet away from it. And as you can see here, I have no issues with the connectivity at all. And if you're still having issues, you can always switch to Bluetooth. Since this is a wireless keyboard, you get a 3750 milliamp battery that Royal Clutch claims to last up to 200 hours. I've used this keyboard wireless pretty heavily for a whole week without RGB and it's still going strong, so battery life shouldn't be an issue. Unfortunately, I haven't tested the keyboard wireless with all the RGB lighting on, but I'd assume it would be about half the time, so maybe about 100 hours. Oh, and by the way guys, if you guys are enjoying this content, don't forget to subscribe. It really help out this channel and I always appreciate your support. But anyways, let's get into the sound test. I forgot to mention that the switches that I'm using are the brown switches, and I personally like the sound and feel to these. It's not too loud and it offers a pretty satisfying experience. I've always liked brown switches, especially for gaming since it gives me a sense of confidence with a very tactile response. But I will say that right out the box they did feel a little bit mushy, but after a week of breaking them in, they feel just about right. Another cool feature about the RK84 is that it also comes with software, but the software is just okay. You can bind keys to your liking, create save profiles, and customize the RGB settings even more. I personally don't use the software since I like my keyboards to work right out the box, but it's still a nice feature to have. Overall, I think the RK84 is a fantastic option for those of you that want to get their feet wet on the mechanical side. I mean, it has all the features that you want. I mean, for $70 to $80, you're getting a wireless, fully hot swappable mechanical keyboard with RGB lighting. However, with that said, the keyboard is not perfect and there are some minor issues with it. The RGB lighting is not the best and there's a little bit of bleeding going on depending on which effect you choose. But honestly, it's not blinding by any means. 
Also, the software is pretty lackluster and could be improved on. I personally don't use the software, but if you want to, don't expect too much out of it. And finally, the range of the USB dongle. Like I said before, I had no issues with it, but there are a lot of people that did. So the USB dongle could be a little sus, but as long as you're within two feet, you should be fine. So yeah, a wireless, fully hot swappable mechanical keyboard with RGB lighting for only $80, that's a win for me. So just in case you're curious, I left an Amazon link down below, which is where I got mine, but you can also try out their website as well. Anyways guys, that was my short review of the RK84, which is currently my daily driver, so I suggest you guys try it out. If you guys enjoyed this content, don't forget to subscribe, drop a like, leave a comment. I'll always appreciate your support. Anyways guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.